हेलो वेलकम टू एवरी ऑन इन दिस वीडियो दिस इज आवर लेक्चर नंबर फिफ्टी फाइव फिफ्टी फोर लेक्चर ऑलरेडी कवर टू सॉल्व दी प्रॉब्लम आस्ट इन दिस इलेक्ट्रो डायनामिक्स बाई डी जे ग्रीफी दिस इज द पार्ट ट्वेंटी सिक्स ऑफ दिस बुक सोल्यूशन द रेस्ट ऑफ द लेक्चर एक्चुअली कॉन्सिज दिस सोल्यूशन फॉर दि बुक दैट इज इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड मैगनेटिज्म बाई वासुदेव घोष सो इफ यू वॉन्ट्स टू वॉच द प्रिवियस लेक्चर और द प्रिवियस सोल्यूशन रिगार्डिंग इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक एंड मैगनेटिज्म यू कैन ग्रो थ्रू द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक लिंक गिवेन देयर and in this video i want to discuss that is question number 5.57 to 5.61 of chapter 5 which consists magneto statics magne to statics right so let's start with question number 5.57 which says that uh, prove that average magnetic field of a sphere of radius r this is a sphere of radius r average magnetic field to steady current will be like that where m is the total dipole moment of the sphere and construct the electrostatic result equation 3.105 so the average magnetic field will be like that this is the volume and it is the integration of the magnetic field throughout the total volume so this will be written here and b you know curl of a and this can be written in this form that is a vector a vector Identity or you can Stokes theorem like that. <laughs> Actually, this form different form of Stokes theorem. You can go through this uh, the book that is vector analysis by M S Pajal. You will will be get this formula, or you can uh, check my video also. There is a lots of video regarding the solution of vector analysis by M S Pajal book. Right. So. <coughs> Using this, after that we know the value of a will be mu zero by four pi j r d tau. So just rearranging them, we will be get this form. Now what happened? That is j depend on the source point only. That is r prime, not on the field point. So this j is depend only source point only, not on the field point. So the surface integral to do the surface integral, choose this a x y z coordinates such that r prime lies on the z axis. Okay. Taking the z axis, so curl here is nothing but like that, and d a is the small area on the spherical cell is like that. So by symmetry, the x and y component must be zero, so the z component will be like that. So this is the value of our uh, one by curl here d a. So d a by curl here is uh, calculated like that for these two region. This is inner point and this is the outer point. <coughs> <coughs> sorry so for the inner region within that inner point here says the over the sphere r so the mm. inner region you will be get take this thing <coughs> <coughs> so using these things in this uh, relation using this uh, this thing using this thing in this relation You will be get this one. Okay, next one. <coughs> so that average magnetic field due to steady current outside the sphere is the same as the field they produce at the center. For the outer point, this was an inside point. For outer point, we will take this. You <coughs> will uh, for outer point. You will take this. And just integrate, you will be get this one. <coughs> Next one, the uniform charge uh, solid sphere of radius r carries a total charge q and the spring u with this omega. This is problem number five point five one, which says the dipole moment of the cell is like that. If you change this in the, this was the surface charge density. <coughs> this uh, surface charge density so must change into the volume charge density. You will be get this thing. So <coughs> the Uh, the momentum you just put this value momentum and in if you, uh, we integrate this thing <coughs> integrate that thing you will be get this answer i uh, find the average magnetic field within this sphere so average will be like that put this value of m uh, from the point you know just average value is like that so Put this value of m in this expression. You will be get this answer. Find the approximate vector uh, vector potential at point this for r very much greater than to r. 
so from vector di potential due to dipole is nothing but this is the vector potential due to dipole so m cross r m is uh, already obtained here this is the m so put this expression here z cross r z cross <coughs> r is nothing but 1 1 sin theta and this will give you phi cap z cross r so you will be get this perpendicular which is phi cap perpendicular to the <coughs> z and phi is the sorry z and r is the <coughs> phi cap next one find the exact potential at r theta outside the sphere and check is consist with, with c so a is expressed in from the example 5.11 in equation 5.67 the vector potential is write down here so this sigma change into the row and r is changed into r then integrating here we will be get this expression which is consist the identical with c eventually field pure dipole for the point outside of the sphere okay. next one find the magnetic field at uh, r theta inside the sphere and check its constant with b so within this pair the magnetic field or from this problem number 5.29 magnetic field will be like that so average magnetic field along the dead direction the component of r cap which is cos theta component and component of theta cap which is sin theta put this value uh, this into cos theta and this into sin theta you will be get this expression after calculating you will finally get this one and which is the same as the obtain in b okay so do this calculation yourself if there is any doubt you must comment in the comment box next question using this equation 5.86 calculate the average <coughs> magnetic field of a dipole over a sphere of radius r center at the origin do angular <coughs> integral first compare your so uh, that issue is identical of the problem 5.3.43 the relation as before the regard is like that so you can do this here sir next one <coughs> i work out multiple expansion of vector potential of line current because that of the co most common type and most respect is here handled so volume current is write down multiple expansion analogous to equation 5.78 so use the ideal equal to jdv the uh, vector potential can be represented will be like that which is multiple expansion write down the monopole potential prove it is vanished the monopole potential this is like that just identical to electrical potential okay so for <coughs> problem 5.7 from problem 5.7 we will obtain this expression and p is total electric dipole moment and which is constant so dp dt is zero so a is also zero next one using equation 1.107 and 5.84 prove this one so you know the magnetic dipole moment is nothing but i into a i is the uh, current a is the area so area can be found out by this relation and you know ideal equal to jdb so ideal converted into j d tau volume d tau is the volume okay here you know this thing that is the i i is the current linear current actually linear current uh, density this is volume current density volume current density this is length and this is small volume small length and small volume okay so finally we will be get this expression next one which says that a thin glass rod of radius r thin glass rod of radius r l carries uniform surface charge density it is springing about its axis it's springing about its axis with the angular velocity omega find the magnetic field at a distance is very much greater than r that is outer point from the center of rod so if a dipole of origin then field at x z plane if there is a dipole at origin then the field will be like that and the r cap change into x and z theta cap change into x and z that means cartesian coordinate system will be get this equation finally here we have a stack the uh, dipole so if we take there is various dipole uh, of this this is actual this cylinder okay 
so this cylinder cutted into separate pieces to for each this piece for this are the actually each dipoles so the fit uh, field point as to, uh, is on this x axis so the coordinate will be at that point is nothing but that is s comma 0 comma 0 so due to symmetry the x cap component are cancel out so b vector equals to like that uh, so mu 0 by 4 pi uh, and is capital m actually the dipole moment per unit length and over the total integration minus l by 2 plus l so these two is come here from 0 to l by 2 due to the even function this is even function so you'll be get this expression and this dipole moment per unit length this uh, dipole moment per unit length total is h if you take this is h total length is h then dipole moment is i into area uh, i into area and you know the i is sigma v h so finally you will get this expression so after putting this value and then integrate sorry then integrate on these things you will be get this equation however you use sine theta m and cos theta m sorry okay thank you